Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to thread a Singer 28K. When I received this machine, it didn't have a key, so instead I use a flathead screwdriver to unlock my carry case. This machine was manufactured in 1916 in Clydebank, Scotland. I regularly maintenance the machine and it is well oiled, so it's ready for us to sew. My first step is to pull out my handle on my hand wheel. This is what drives the machine instead of a foot pedal or treadle. This is my bobbin. It's a long shuttle bobbin and it will be sitting horizontally in the bobbin winder as we wind today. To wind a bobbin, you're going to set your spool on the spool pin. You're going to pull your thread to the left pretension guide and you're going to then wind your thread around your bobbin from front to back. You wanna wind a few times to make sure it's secure on the bobbin when you set it into the winder. You now want to pull that hanging thread through the top tensioner and the bottom tensioner of the bobbin winder Pull your thread taut so it gives a nice even wind. You'll then push your bobbin winder against your hand wheel and rotate your hand wheel in a clockwise direction. When you wind your bobbin, the thread is going to be dispersed evenly across the surface. And you do want to remember not to overfill your bobbin. You don't want the thread to bulge out past the top and bottom diameter. I will then pull the bobbin winder away from the hand wheel. To thread the machine, I'm going to place my spool on the spool pin, and then I'm going to raise my presser foot so that my tension disc opens. I'm going to pull my thread through that top pretension guide, and then pull my thread through the tension disc from right to left, making sure I catch it over the little peg, and then underneath my wire stirrup. Make sure that that is freely moving. I will then take my thread and thread it from front to back through that take-up arm. And this is the side view of that same action. So pull it through that take-up arm, then catch it on my thread guide. I will then pull it into the wire needle guide, and then I'm going to lower my presser foot. I will raise my needle to make sure that threading is easy, and then I'm going to thread from the left to the right of the machine. In this machine, the flat of the, the needle is going to be facing the hand wheel. I will then open up my bobbin case cover and pull out my bobbin case. This is a shuttle bobbin case. Now that I've got my wound bobbin, I'm going to insert it into the bobbin case. When inserting the bobbin, you want the thread coming off the left-hand side. You're going to insert the bobbin into the case and hold it stationary as you thread the bobbin case. You're going to pull up very firmly through that slit in the bobbin case. You're gonna feel it catch. You will pull your loose tail underneath that little guide and then you're going to slide it down into the tensioner. You're really going to feel it catch. You're now going to drop the case back into the machine and there's going to be a notch that will fit very snugly. You can rotate your hand wheel back and forth to make sure that your bobbin case is incorrectly. To pull up on your thread, you're going to hold your needle thread stationary, rotate your hand wheel, and that bobbin thread is going to be pulled to the top. You will now replace the bobbin case cover and you are ready to sew. When sewing, you'll want to rotate your hand wheel in a clockwise direction or away from you. Thank you so much for watching and happy sewing.